Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to my Lion King 2019 movie review. Lion King was directed by John Favreau and stars Chiwetel Ejiofor, Scar, John Oliver, Zazu. They brought back James Earl Jones as Mufasa and a whole cast of other characters. Uh, Donald Glover is in this. Beyonce. Um, none of the e e even I'll, I'll say this: this movie, uh, the the word to describe it is uninspired. It it. Uh, it's just not. I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, it's inspired by the original Lion King. I didn't see anything original. I was just taking the technology that they developed for Jungle Book and just adding uh, and just doing it all CGI, basically. Um, the big problem with this movie is that they don't make the animals emote, so it's just like deadpan expressions. Um, and, and you know what, though? That can work. I remember Homeward Bound. Those were just animals, and somebody was talking over them. And, and also, even, like, look who's talking, right? The mouths didn't move. But it just... <sighs> there was a, a lack of connection there somehow. I think what worked about Jungle Book... First of all, I thought Jungle Book was overrated. I didn't enjoy it that much. I didn't... And frankly, I didn't like the first Jungle Book, the original one, the animated one, that much either. Um... But at least he had the little boy to kind of like be your emotional center. Here's the, oh no, my dad died. Uh, like, James Earl Jones really didn't have that many lines. I, I mean, uh, it, the performances, they seemed really flat, except for um, the guys who played Timon and Pumbaa. Uh, which are Seth Rogen and Billy Eichner. Um, those guys were the best. Especially uh, Billy Billy Eichner, Eichner. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know how to say it, but um, he was absolutely hilarious. Those guys were the best part of the movie. I was having a fun time every time they were there. Like Beyonce was, it was flat. Um, it, it's it was just flat. And, uh, on the Star Strider scale, I give this movie a 55. I really wanted to love it. I love the original. It is not my favorite though of the Disney Renaissance. Oddly enough, my favorite is Beauty and the Beast, and I thought I really enjoyed the new Beauty and the Beast. They they actually they added some stuff to that one. Um, I really liked Emma Watson. Um, maybe I even liked Aladdin better than this one. It's just the the, the animals were flat. They, you, you couldn't. I don't know. They can't, they can't emote. You you can't do that. It doesn't work. You know. You in like Toy Story's all CGI, but they have facial expressions. They didn't. I think they went with the creative choice. They must have, I guarantee you, they tried it the other way. By making the animals have expressions. But then it probably just started looking weird. Right? And and sometimes you don't want realism. Um, you want escapism. Um, I, you know, you want the absurdity of it all. Singing animals and whatnot. This movie's really uninspired. I give it a 55 on a Star Strider scale. Um... Disney's making so much of these. I mean, this year alone, we've had Dumbo, we've had Aladdin, we've had Lion King. Um, I think Mulan is coming. There's already been a trailer. I think it's next year, though. Maybe it's this year. I have no idea. I know Little Mermaid's been cast. I mean, what else do they got? They're going to do Snow White, uh, Peter Pan, Bambi. You know, I feel like I feel like they're animal studio, right? That's like a, a one team of pe. You know, good for them though. They're keeping people employed, and 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 if this movie makes a ton of money, good. I don't want it to fail. It's fine. I went and saw it. It's it's not terrible. Fifty five, slightly above average film. You know, you know those those people. Um, they worked on Jungle Book. Then they now they're working on this, and they're oh, do we still have a job? And yeah, probably. You guys now you do go do Bambi. I mean, I don't know. Um, I don't know where they're going. They're going to run out of movies here soon, and then they'll be forced to do things that are original, like Frozen. Um, although, I guess... <laughs> this is supposed to be their live-action studio, um, but there was no live-action in this. Although, I, I heard a rumor there was one shot that was. I don't know. Um, it's just a very uninspired movie. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought. Leave your comments below. Um, please subscribe, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye.